All right. So what do we have first on the list? Measure the total length of the conduit. It looks like it's 120 and a half inches. 120 and a half inches. What do you think that's all about? 120 and a half. Isn't this supposed to be a 10 foot length? That's 120 inches. What's it say next on there? It says we want to start by making some marks on the conduit that we can reference later. All right, let's make some marks. Okay. Yeah. Make a pencil or sharp mark on the conduit six inches from the end. Make it go all the way around the conduit. Label it mark one. Six inches from the end. Exactly. And then label it mark one. Okay, what's next? Uh, letter B, also make it 40 inches from the end. Make a mark, 40 inches from the end. Make it go all the way around the conduit and make it mark four. This is going to be mark four? Yeah. 40 inches from the end. Thank you. Okay, now what? So mark one will be placed at the front of the hood on the shoe and will determine the take up for a 90 degree bend. And mark four will be placed at the front of the gate. It says, align mark one to the front of the hood in the bend shoe. The six, the six uh, inch will extend in the front of the shoe. Okay. okay. And then, the next one. Just a second, we're gonna get that one set up. I'm going to get the six inch lined up with the front of the hook on this dagger. pressure on the conduit to snug it up. And okay. Recheck the mark one location so that it's in the right place. Oh yeah, it's beautiful. Okay. What's next? Mark the con mark the conduit just behind the support on the back of the vendor. Label it number two. I'm gonna put this one right here. Right at the back of this here. I'm going to give it the number two. Hashtag. 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 I'll even do a little tic-tac-toe. We can play tic-tac-toe later. Okay. Now what? Before advancing the vendor, put a level on the horizontal portion of the conduit. Make sure it is level. All right. I happen to have a level right here. Is it level missing? It's kind of close. Let's get a little piece of shim. Maybe one of those little Metal over there. We're gonna stack that underneath the bottom of this. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, now what? Check the bending degrees on the scale and align it to zero degrees. This might just be done mentally to see where. So this has a. Okay, thanks. Just a second. So this has a little screwy thing in here. I can make this, I can loosen that up and get this aligned perfectly with that zero on there. So when I get done bending this, it should be right on the money. Okay. Now what? Now carefully advance the bender until the stub of the end of the conduit is at 30 degrees with a level or angle finding. 
Okay, I happen to have a level that can do that for me. This just goes clickety clickety, right? So this top bubble is going to be the one that is 30 degrees. See it doing some spring back when I let off that handle? Okay, it's money. Okay, measure and mark down how much the mark that was on the back of the support has moved. Okay, so we're going to measure to see where number two lines up with the back of this. Hashtag two, I should say. Looks like that's two and seven sixteenths. Two and seven sixteenths inches. Is that something you guys need to be writing down on that page? Now what does it say? Now it says carefully advance the bender into the snow at the end of the conduit at 45 degrees with a level or amplifier. Luckily this very level that I have already installed here also show me 45 degrees. All right. That looks lovely. Now what? Measure the mark. Measure and mark down how much the mark that was at the back of the Okay, this number two is clear up there now. I put this tape on there and I'm measuring this. It looks like I'm now at three and 11 16. Three and 11 16. All right. So now we're going to carefully advance the vendor into the snow and then we'll come here with that 90 degrees or snow. Either way, huh? Okay. When pressure is removed, the spring back at the floor. We got that one right there, right? Sure. Oh, right there. Okay, now what? Oh, holy crap, it looks like it's going to be up there a little bit. So, shoot. I think I'm going to have to make another mark on here so that I can measure this after I pull it out of this bender because it's covering up that last mark. Does it say to mark it here? Uh, it doesn't say to mark at all. I'll measure you yeah, Okay, good, good, good. Okay, to release this, if I put that in here, it's not going to release it at all. I have to take this out. Well, first I have to move this up. And then when I lift up on this, this will come out. Or I can just lift up on the conduit and it'll make it unload. Okay, so let me hit you with this. I'm going to just set it on the ground right here, or on this table. We're going to do a measurement right here. I'm going to make this measurement in between that mark and the number two. It smells like number two. Looks like I'm at seven and three eighths. Okay, what's it say to do next? Now you want to check the, the angle indicated to see how well it lines up with the 90 degree head. Okay. I'm going to use these soft cuts so they don't have a, a square out here. So let me hit you with this. And I'm not certain how accurate this soft cut is. Looks like I've got it a little bit more bended than I had anticipated if this soft cut is right on the money. 
All right, good enough. So now what? So once the bend is completed and before it is removed from the bender, make Great. another mark at the back of the bender support where mark two was made. That's what I already did right there. And so mark, it's this one. Yep, mark that number three. Number three. Okay, putting it back up here. Okay. So this distance of travel can then be divided by 90 to give a multiplier for the distance traveled per degree of bend. Does that make sense to anybody? We're going to do a little bit of math right here, okay? We're going to measure this and see what that distance is again. And then we're going to divide that by 90. So I have 7 and... Seven and three eighths, seven and three eighths inches. We'll do this on a calculator when we get back in the building. Is there any more instructions on there? Yep, all right, so check it to see how accurate it is. Okay, and then we got some answers. All right, thanks.